This is just a quick uh, video that I'm going to stick in between um, making the snowman. Um, I already uploaded the beginning part of, you know, talking about it and that it was a pattern for Christmas in July. But I wanted to show you that you actually do the hats double. So you actually do the entire hat and fold it over when you're... That was kind of interesting to me. I, I didn't expect that that's how you would you were going to do it. But, yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, they're pretty big. They're not little by no means. Um, look how big this is. So, yeah. It's really kind of kind of cool. It's, a, it's quite a a uh, big project, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm learning. Um, well, I've done a couple things like this, but I, I'm not good at faces, and it tells me I'm going to need to do black thing, uh, black eyes, and uh, anyway. But you have to do a lot of uh, weaving in ends and sewing together. For the final so I'm gonna try and do a little bit here a little bit there but it is not in any way a tutorial it's just a vlog a day and what I'm working on and and my daughter collects snowmen and I thought this would be really cute for her front door because she likes to put her snowmen out so that in January it's all snowmen uh, uh, you know she she has fun with that so again I'm I've got quite a few pieces um, done and uh, I didn't work. I didn't finish the snowflake yet. But what I did was I went back to where it is in the pattern, in the order. So I finished the body, the second body, and then I went to the hat. The snowflake is later. So that's kind of where I am in that. And now I'll go back to the uh, another video, another another day. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. I have I have stitched together one snowflake and one body here. <laughs> I put on three buttons with the black yarn where you did a um, French knot. That's my idea of that. I took a, a head and attached it to the body here and put on one of the... Um, scarfs and I tacked down the scarf then I went up and put two eyes and the Kara on so the eyes are well I did the eyes with the French knot and absolutely hated it because I like this is the reason why I don't do this stuff because I can't do eyes I'm not gonna do something that's gonna be scary <laughs> and I did the eyes and I didn't like it and they uh, just whatever I mean, you have to practice this and do it I think more often to get good at it and I'm, I I don't so and I don't do it so this is how mine's gonna come out with these up um, eyes that you buy okay so now I have to do his mouth and that's gonna be again changing the expression so I'm hoping that I do okay with that then I put the hat together, which meant the flap around, and sewed that down. 
and I put a snowflake on. So the top snowman is completely, well, it's ready. And the back doesn't look bad. Yeah, there's, you know, but you're not going to see it. It hangs on the door. And they do tell you to do a hanger, which I will do. So I'm going to do my mouth and then the other one exactly like this. All the pieces are ready the same way. So it shouldn't take me much longer to finish off his, uh, his friend. And his friend will be sewn at the bottom here. And then it'll be done. So I uh, will come back real soon with a finished video. Hi, I'm taking video of the snowman again. I did this earlier today and it did not work out so well. But you're going to see both snowmen. There's the top. Then you tie this one to that one. And I think they came out pretty cute. That is a good job. And then this one has a hanger on the top of his head, or on the back of his head anyway. <laughs> so there we go. I went out on the deck to try to get this in. It's a good 12 inches each snowman, so it's a good 24 inches about. All right, take a moment out of each day. Be creative. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.